And a chihuahua. I don't know what he is. He's a little dog. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you had an amazing holiday. This video was requested by a few of my viewers, and at first, when I the first request came in, I wasn't planning on doing it because I, I didn't think that I would get stuff that you guys would be interested in seeing or maybe not enough to do a full haul video because I don't get a lot of like dolls and stuff like that for Christmas. I get other stuff. So I didn't know if it would even be interesting and I also like didn't know if I felt comfortable doing it because I didn't want to come across like I was bragging like, oh, look what I got or whatever. Um, but then I got a few more people either commenting on my videos or messaging me on Instagram asking if I was going to do a Christmas haul video. And I'm like, is this a thing? Like, do people do this? And then I started seeing other people that I follow or that I'm subscribed to on YouTube doing that. So I was like, okay, I guess this is a thing. So, <laughs> and since I had a few of you guys said that you wanted to see a Christmas haul to see what I got for Christmas, I figured that I would just go ahead and make this video. Now, since I'm not going to be unboxing things, I don't know if it's going to be that long of a video. I'm just going to kind of go through and show you what I got. I'm not going to have everything I got for Christmas because I got a lot of little things, but I am going to show you the things that you might, that I think you might find interesting. So first I'm going to show you what I got from other people, and then after that I'm going to show you what I bought for myself. So with the exception of the very first thing I'm going to show you. So it was actually this hoodie. Um, I did buy this for myself. I got it from Torrid. Um, I got a lot of my sweatshirts and everything from Torrid because um, they have sizes that fit me and they're super comfortable and they have super cute prints. Look at this. It's like metallic Mickey and stars. Oh, and this was totally unintentional, but it matches my nails. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know how that happened, but yeah, my Christmas nails ended up matching the hoodie. <laughs> um, let me get the second thing. Okay, so secondly, I got this oh, this wonderful, wonderful robe. Um, I have been saying that I've wanted um, a good, warm, like really plush feeling robe for a while. And my parents got me this for Christmas and it's like my favorite thing ever because <laughs> I work from home sitting at this desk and it gets cold in the mornings because I work super early in the morning. Um, so it's it's so, so nice to have just something nice and warm. Oh, I love this. And it's a really, really, really plush, like really smooth material and I really, really like it. So I'm super happy about this. Okay, so moving into some of the other stuff, uh, let's start here. So you guys might not know this about me, but I love to bake uh, and I like making breakfast food. <laughs> so um, I got some cooking and baking utensils and it's like a matching set in one of my favorite colors. It's like a turquoise color, which I love. I love this color. Um, and I love these silicone um, baking tools. Like even the whisk is uh, silicone covered, which is nice. Okay. I'm just going to keep my robe on. This is, <laughs> I was going to switch back to my hoodie, but this is nice and comfortable. <laughs> Okay, so next up, kind of sticking with the food theme here, um, I got this Bailey's Brownie Mix. I am so excited to try this. And then um, I got a couple like individual um, Bailey's, like what do they call these? They're like shot bottles, because <laughs> it's about the size of a shot. Um, but yeah, it's just Bailey's Original um, Irish Cream, which is really good. And um, yeah, I'm excited to make these brownies. I've never had like Bailey's brownies. So, and they have like frosting on top. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Next up, I got this um, daily calendar and it's a Disney one. So this is really cool. So coming up for the year 2022, um, it's a year of am animation, daily calendar featuring scenes from your favorite Disney and Pixar films, which I love. Y'all know I am a huge Disney fan. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So I'm so excited for this one. Like here's a couple examples. Like they've got Snow White up here and then they've got a picture from Onward right there, which by the way, Onward is an amazing movie. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend it. Go like check it out. I think it's on Disney Plus now. So yeah, go, go see Onward. <laughs> Next is another food item. And this is probably, I think this is the last like food item that I have uh, that I'm showing you guys anyway. So this one's really cool. It's a Harry Potter 
hot chocolate, like color changing hot chocolate set. So there's different bottles and a thing of marshmallows here and each bottle is each of the different Hogwarts houses. So um, I don't know, I'm assuming I haven't looked into this. I don't know. I, I haven't seen a video on it or anything, and I haven't tried it out yet. But you're supposed to, like, um, do, like, mix some of the um, mix into uh, hot water, and then as you're stirring it, it changes colors. So I'm really excited to try this. All right, so moving on to games. So I am a gamer. I am mostly a platform gamer. I have a PS4. I have a Switch. My parents got me a PS4 game. I got Assassin's Creed Black Flag, and it's one of the few. I'm behind on the Assassin's Creed series, um, I'll admit. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even remember which one I'm up to. I'll have to check, but I'm pretty far behind. I don't know if this is the next one in the series for what where I'm at in the series, but I do know this is one of the ones that I don't have, so I'm excited to play this one. Next up, I'm also a huge like board game and tabletop gamer as well, so um, I got Disney Villainous. Um, this is a expansion pack, but it's also a standalone game. So you can play this game by itself with these three villains. And I do have the full, like the regular original uh, vil Disney Villainous game. So this is going to be going with that. So that's actually really cool. And this one has um, Pete, Cruella de Vil, and Mother Gothel. Okay, so the next game I got, I'm actually really excited for. This is Betrayal at House on the Hill. Now, I'm not a huge player of like the the traditional game, traditional games, I guess, like Monopoly and Life. Um, played those when I was younger. It was fun. It, like, I'm not really into those type of games. Games like this, where they're different, they're interesting. There's something I don't know. The, it's it's if you've never played it. I definitely, definitely recommend it. I have, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I honestly do not know how to explain this game other than like you're a group of people going to a haunted house um, and you kind of build the map as you go. So like there's tiles that you flip over and like you build the, the mansion room by room and then like there you have achievements that you have to do and there's different scenarios and it's like each time you play the game, the game is different because you're doing different scenarios and the game board is going to end up being different and it's just really interesting. It's just, it's a really, really fun game. Okay, so now we're starting to get into more of the doll related content and stuff like that. Um, so I got a couple more of the My Little Pony reproductions uh, and I got Tootsie and Cherry's Jubilee. These were on my wish list for sure. I mean, technically all of them are. <laughs> like, um, I do want to get all four of these. So I, I want to get um, these two, which is, uh, oh, who was it? Lickety Split and Posey. That was the other one. So um, I do want to get those ones as well. And then of course they have these ones here. If you saw my Christmas shopping video, you saw at the Foothill Mercantile that they do have this pony and this pony, but because they're sitting down, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of those, but I do want to get bow tie and Applejack for sure. And then along with these, I got a lounge fly backpack <laughs> to go with it. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh. First of all, I love lounge fly backpacks. I only own one because they're so expensive. Um, and the one that I have is an Alice in Wonderland teacups one that I got from Disneyland. Um, but yeah, this one is a My Little Pony one. Of course it is an official like branded one um, and it is lounge fly. Um, but yeah, like they got, look at rainbow straps and everything. Uh, it's so cute. And it's just one of the simple ones. It just has the big pouch and the small pouch in the front. Um, but I, I love this so much. It's my favorite color. Love this color. And just the fact that it has, I forgot this pony's name, but just the fact that it has a pony on it, <laughs> like, uh, it's so cool. It's like, I don't want to use it because I don't want it to get dirty or messed up. But um, I don't know, maybe if I get a good, like, My Little Pony outfit put together, then I'll wear this at Disneyland to go with that outfit. So, and then take some pictures for Instagram. <laughs> and then here is the Barbie Rewind, the uh, Career Girl, or what do they call, what do they call these? I forgot. It just says Barbie in her career look. <laughs> but yeah, so it's the, the Career Girl one. Um, here is the back of the box so you can see. Um, and then I will show you really quick. There's a sneak peek, there she is. But that's all you get to see. <laughs> I will be doing a review for each of the dolls that you see in this video. Um, I will be doing like an actual like unboxing and review and everything. Okay, so now moving on to stuff that I bought for myself. So um, I found a couple new Barbie fashion packs on um, 
Amazon. So they have this one, which I actually really like this one. It's like casual wear and, uh, but it doesn't look weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's just like, it, you know what it reminds, it actually reminds me of Sasha, from the Bratz Sasha, um, her outfit, like, especially this, this piece right here kind of reminds me of that. Um, this is like a sweatshirt dress. It lo doesn't look like much in the bag, but like when a Barbie's wearing it I, in the picture that I saw, it actually looks really cool. Uh, and I like these sneakers here. So, and then the other thing I'm super excited about is that Barbie is collaborating with Jurassic World to come out with fashion packs. Um, I did buy another one, but it's like on back order or something. It hasn't come in yet. Um, so I just got the one for right now, but it's like a little pink and purple jumper with lime green Converse sneakers and they have dinosaurs printed all over them and I'm so totally here for it. I don't remember what the other one looked like. I just know that it was Jurassic World and I'm like, buy it, <laughs> buy now. But um, yeah, I, I really like this. So I will definitely be doing a review for these, but I think I'm going to wait till I get the other one in so I can do a review, a bleh, so I can do a review for all of them. Okay. So next up I have some more My Little Pony stuff. This is stuff that I got on eBay. Ooh, I'm knocking things over. So I got this right here, which doesn't look look like much, um, but it is a G3 pony. Hold on. Do I have scissors? I do. So I got one of the blank ponies, the blank white ponies that you can customize. So I totally intend to customize this. Um, I'm going to keep her white. I just, I really liked the fact that she was monochromatic because I don't think I've seen any other ponies like that. So I wanted to keep her like this and I'm going to turn her into my own character. Uh, and then I'll give her a cutie mark and paint on her eyes and everything. So yeah, this is really fun. And I saw this a long time ago, um, but I only just now got her. <laughs> Because I, I was able to find a good price on eBay, and that's why I ended up getting her. She also comes with a brush. So, um, and actually, if you want to see this, let me know in a comment if you want to see me uh, customizing this pony. Um, it, there's not a lot I have to do because it, she's brand new, and I'm just going to be adding, like, I'm gonna, basically going to be repainting her uh, and giving her a character. But if you want to see that, let me know in the comments, and I'll do that if you guys want to see it. Okay, so next up is a G2 pony. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason, I've just been really into the Generation 2 of My Little Pony recently. When they first came out, was not into them. I only two of them, but I just wasn't a huge fan because they look so different. But I was able to get a really good price on this one. They are, some of them are just not super expensive on eBay. So I was able to get her um, in the box on card. So I'm actually pretty excited about this, even though um, I'm actually probably going to be taking her out of the box. <laughs> Uh, but, um, I don't know. She was so cheap. I don't, I guess this particular pony, who is it? What's her name? Is Barry Bright. Um, so Barry Bright, she's one of like part of the very first wave of the secret surprise friends. And the other one that I have is from the same wave. Actually, I have Petal Blossom. So that's one of the ones I have. I have Petal Blossom and I have, um, her Sundance. Uh, those are the two that I have, but she was so cheap at the time that like, Apparently, they these ones didn't hold a lot of value. It's the ones that are like hard to get, like it from the UK uh, or from other European countries, because I guess they were really popular there. Um, those ones that were never released in the US, those are the expensive ones and have a lot of value. These ones, I guess, just not a lot of people cared for them, so they're they're like don't have as much value to them. So they're not super expensive. So um, I'm not worried about keeping her in the box for like value and collection purposes. I actually bought her to customize. So um, yet another <laughs> pony customizing video that I'll probably do. I don't know. I haven't decided because she is actually pretty. Now that I see her in person, she is very pretty. Um, so I might customizer. I might keep her the same. I don't know. haven't decided. Okay. So next is a couple more eBay purchases. I haven't actually opened these to see them yet. So I lied. I guess you are getting a little bit of an unboxing here, <laughs> but, um, let's see here. So these are some G1 ponies. Uh, I've just really been into the retro eighties, like nineties stuff recently, more so than buying new stuff. And these ponies I'm probably going to have to clean up and restore a little bit because they are used, but um, I'm okay with that because the pictures look like they were in pretty decent condition. Oh, okay. So 
Here is Powder. She says that she is from 84, 1984. So, um, but yeah, this is not a pony that I had when I was a kid, uh, although she was very similar to one, which is actually the other one I'm gonna show you. Um, but I saw her and I really, really liked her. I got the all the feels, all the nostalgia feels. So I'm super excited to have her. But she's definitely dirty and has like some marks on her and stuff like that. Um, so I'm definitely going to be um, cleaning her her up um once again maybe i'll do i was gonna i was thinking of doing a video where i do that like restore the ponies um but i don't know if like just this will be enough for one video by itself maybe i'll wait till i have like a bunch of them i want to do and do them all in one video i don't know let me know down below for the generation one ponies that i have would you rather see one big video that has a bunch of ponies being made over or cleaned up or would you rather see separate shorter videos where each video is just one individual pony and seeing what i do because some of them have different things that i have to do to clean them up and um, they don't all need the same treatment but anyway, so that is powder. Here is another eBay find. And this one I'm really excited about because this is one of my childhood ponies. Uh, oh, she looks a little different than I remember. She's a little more pink. But anyway, here is Milky Way. And I had this pony when I was younger, but my dog chewed it up. So that's what it was. I remember now because I remember her being in like pieces and one of her legs was missing so um and I didn't know how to like fix anything like that it was really bad so she looks a little more pink there are variants to this particular pony and I think some of them are a little more pink and some of them are a little more purple I think when I was younger I had one that was more purple I don't know maybe it was like this and I'm just not remembering I do remember that I had one with the silver stars though because she also came with um solid white stars she is giving me all the nostalgic feels because this is one of the ponies that my grandma bought me. Um, so since she got chewed up by the dog, um, it's nice to be able to have her again for my collection. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to show you this. I meant to show you towards the beginning, but this I thought was one of like the coolest gifts that I got. I got this from my aunt and it's a bag of Skittles, which doesn't seem like a lot, but this was a bag of Skittles that was released during Pride last year I believe or this maybe it was this year um but I love what they did for their campaign it says what does it say only one rainbow matters during pride and that kind of made me choke up I was like that that is so cool on the back it still shows the different flavors so I believe they still have all the same flavors and stuff I don't know on the inside if they're white or gray or if they are the normal colors and it's just the packaging that's black and white that I don't know but um, it still shows all the all the flavors but there's no color and then down here it says Skittles gives up its rainbow in support of the one that matters during pride so I got a little choked up when I saw that and I just thought it was really cool and it's like I want to open it and eat them because I love Skittles but I actually kind of want to just save this because I thought that this was really cool and I really appreciate this. It's such a simple thing but it, I, I really really appreciate this gift. Okay so next up I got some Pokemon figures to add to my little collection back there. I don't know if you can really see it from here but I have like right there I have a little shelf that has some Pokemon um, figures on it. So first of all I got Yamper. In, in Pokemon Sword and Shield Yamper was one of the first Pokemon that I caught so I wanted to get a Yamper. Plus he's a little like he looks like a Corgi. Well kind of like a Corgi mixed with a pug or Boston Terrier or something and a chihuahua. I don't know what he is. He's a little dog. <laughs> He's a little electric dog. He's a, he's such a cute little puppy. And he like goes around and barks at things and he finds items for you and stuff. Anyway, whatever. I love this little dog. So I had to get him. I found these at Five Below, by the way. Um, I've never really shopped at Five Below until I was doing Christmas shopping this year. So these were like $5 each, which honestly for a Pokemon figure is a little much, but it's not terrible, I guess, if you're going to just get one. Anyway, love Yamper. Um, I also got a Charmander. Um, I have a Bulbasaur already in this style. Now I have a Charmander and I just need to get a Squirtle so I can complete my original three starter Pokemon. But yeah, so I just thought that that was super cute and I, I love Charmander. I love all the, uh, the G1 starter Pokemon. And then this one I ordered on Amazon. This is a, po a Galarian Ponyta. I love Galarian Ponyta. I just so cute <laughs> like my favorite colors i would have loved to have this as a kid uh because of my favorite colors and it's a unicorn so when i first saw 
the Galarian uh, Ponyta being like released and talked about. I was so excited. So anyway, um, yeah, so I got that. And these three are going to be joining my other little Pokemon figures I have on that shelf right there. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you may have seen in my stories that I went to Ross and I found some na 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 surprise teens. And um, I don't have any of the teens. So um, when I saw them there, I saw this girl for a pretty decent price because they normally are $30. Is it 30 or 35? I think they're just $30. So normally they are $30, but I found this one for $16 at Ross. And I was, wait, where's the sticker? Yeah, well, it was 16. I, the sticker must have come off. But anyway, got it for $16 and um, I posted pictures of it on Instagram. But yeah, I'm excited because um, this is my first na na, -na teen. Uh, and this is like back when they still had the surprise thing. So hopefully there's no confetti because I'm totally not doing confetti anymore. <laughs> and then last but not least, I got the Panda Family! I am so excited to have this set! <laughs> I have gone through so much to get this. So first of all, I don't buy things for myself usually during the holiday season, especially if I've mentioned that I am interested in it or want it, because I don't know what people are going to buy for me. That's like, like, for example, this, I've mentioned that I wanted this and then I ended up getting it from somebody. So like, I don't want to buy for myself in case if there's like a duplicate or whatever. Um, so this was one of those things that I had mentioned a few times to different people that I was interested in getting, but I knew that it was very expensive. So I didn't think I was going to end up getting it for Christmas. Um, and I went online a few days before Christmas and Target had a sale for like, I think it was 20% off or something. Anyway, so I posted it on Facebook. I'm like, oh, look, this is on sale for an actual like decent price for once. Um, and I mentioned it, but then I was like, I don't think I'm actually going to get it for Christmas because it is more expensive. Um, so I'm like, maybe I should buy it for myself. And I went on Amazon. They had it marked at the same sale price and I had rewards for Amazon as well. So I ended up paying I don't know what I paid, but I paid very little for this after the rewards and everything. So I was like, ah, and I've been wanting it for a while. It's just so expensive. I did not plan to buy it for myself, but because I was able to get it at such a good deal, I decided to go ahead and just buy it for myself. And I'm so glad that I did it. it like they are so adorable. Um, I'm in love with these. I love, I have the other Panda girl up where she, she's, she's hiding. She's like, right there. You can kind of see her head right there. <laughs> but um, yeah, I have the other panda girl up there. Uh, I did review her already on my channel. So if you want to see that, I will put it in the iCards up there. And I definitely will be doing a separate video, like a full review and unboxing of this later. So if you want to check that out, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell and you'll get that notification with the, when this video pops up. I lucked out and I feel extremely fortunate and extremely grateful for um, everything that I got. This was a really, like, I feel like this is a really good haul for me. I, I'm extremely happy with everything I got. Um, I don't really have a favorite, but I think the biggest thing I'm probably most excited about, honestly, is this game, this, um, the Betrayal at the House on the Hill, because I just remember the few times that I did play it, I enjoyed it so much. So yeah, I am so ready to have a game night and play this. So anyway, that's all that I got for this year for Christmas. Let me know in the comments down below what you got for Christmas. Um, cause I'd like to know just, you know, if you got the dolls that you were wanting or anything like that. So I got to get going because my mom and my grandma are standing outside of my window here, waving at me while I'm trying to film. But, um, yeah, they're trying to get my attention. I'm going to get going, but thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.